Now let's look at the third thing we are considering, cashless society. Cashless society. It would look ridiculous to those who receive the book of, the first people that receive the book of Revelation, when they say that no man can buy or sell except they receive the mark of the beast. It, it was strange to them. But this is not strange to us. Today I was reading, I was reading something about national identification number. Now in Nigeria, the national identification number, which is like the social security number, is the ID card is so advanced, is very, very advanced that you can use it to withdraw money. So what is digital ID? How, how sophisticated do we want a digital ID to be more than tiny to your bank? So now, if you are a Nigerian, your ID is tied to your bank. You can use your card, your national ID card, to withdraw money from the ATM. And everyone has a number. Every single person has a number. Without this NIN, you cannot withdraw money. You cannot bank. You can't do virtually nothing in Nigeria without NIN. National Identification Number. So, when we look at the world today and we see digital IDs being implemented in different countries, as a matter of fact, there is no country in this world where they don't have one or two forms of digital identification. It is very, very common. As a matter of fact, I was watching a, a video in which they were interviewing some people in China. They said they no longer use cash. They don't, uh, some people said they, it's been a long time they use cash. They don't use cash anymore. They rarely use cash. That is a society we have come to find ourselves. Do you know that after the rapture, you will not be able to buy or sell if you get left behind? Some of you are pursuing money at all costs, at the expense of your service to God and your service to the church, and at the expense of your salvation, at the expense of reading your Bible and spending time in prayer, evangelizing. Do you know that your money will get lost? Except you, you're going to lose everything, except you accept the mark of the beast. But it's dangerous. Let me tell you something. Um... Let me give you some, some statistics. This is from the Atlantic Council. The Atlantic Council. Uh, you can check their website. It's atlanticcouncil.org. 134 countries and currency unions representing 98% of global GDP are exploring as CBDC, as Central Bank Digital Currency, 134 countries and currency unions, representing 98 of global GDP. They are exploring a Central Bank Digital Currency. That means only 2% are not exploring Central Bank Digital Currency. Nigeria launched their central bank digital currency over two years now. Two years ago, they launched it. These things are happening quietly. We already have a form of digital identity. We have digital currency. The problem is, a time is coming whether we say, oh, um, now we need to beef up security. We need to beef up security. We need to scan your eyes. We need to scan your... In fact, I, I got a message from Google that now you can link your thumb to your account. They are strengthening digital identity all over the world right now. After 9-11, things changed. Security in airports 
Everything changed. Global security increased. And it is all about the enslavement of humanity. Nothing more. Brethren, we have to be wise. Okay, listen to this. Currently, I'm reading, this is the same statistics from the Atlantic Council. The Atlantic Council. In May 2020, that number was only 35. That means in May 2020, the number of countries that are exploring CBDC, the number of countries and currency unions were just 35. Between 2020 and 2024, they have increased to 134. If you read Agenda 2030, you will understand deeper what I'm saying. The Lord is near. The Lord Jesus Christ is near. And we need to get ourselves ready. This is not a time to sleep anymore. Let me continue to read. Currently, 68 countries are in the advanced phase of exploring, development, pilot, or launch. Three countries have fully launched a CBDC. And these are the countries. The Bahamas, Jamaica, and Nigeria. This is from AtlanticCouncil.org. Three countries have fully launched it. The largest the most populated country in Africa, Nigeria, has already launched two years ago. And a lot of us Christians are screaming miracles. We are screaming power and financial prosperity when in no time, if Jesus returns, now you will lose everything or you compromise your salvation. Let's talk about one world government. I don't want to dwell much on these because we can see the things that are happening right now in the world. Look at the wars we are facing. I'm not even talking about wars. In the few things, the five things I mentioned, I want to talk about. Look at the wars. When each time there are huge conflicts in the world, it brings the world the governments of the world together. Not every time the governments of the world come together is for the good of the church. Most times, they gather to advance the cause of the Antichrist and fulfill end-time prophecies. Please wake up.